Academy football has been a very hot topic lately with multiple teams filming documentaries on how their youth teams work and the life inside of a youth academy. We've heard from the players. Check out my recent video to hear what the players inside of some of the top academies in England had to say, Chelsea, Tottenham, Wolves. But today we're gonna hear from a coach. So Jack Tebbert is a player care official at Burnley who's pretty much in the building with all the players, including the first team players, all the academy kids, every single day. So he sees inside and out the workings of an academy. Here's what he had to say on the realities of academy life from a coach. What is one thing that you think people outside of academies wouldn't know about what goes on inside? Wouldn't know? Yeah. Do you know what? I think academy footballers and, and footballers in general get a hard time, right? I don't think you'll realise the sacrifice these boys make. Mm. Sacrifice these families make and the boys make from a young age. We have like under 12s here three or four times a week. We have mm. parents travelling over an hour or an hour and a half to bring their boy to training. We have under 18s that have moved three or four hours away from home that don't get to go home every weekend, that probably get to see home maybe every once a month, once every two months. So the sacrifice they make is enormous and and people look at it and think that it's listen it's probably one of the best jobs in the world and i always remind these boys that i'm sure if you had the opportunity to swap with someone they would swap with you but the sacrifice the sacrifice that goes on is, is enormous mm. um another thing you probably don't realize is they're just normal people they're just yeah they're actually normal kids that they still make silly decisions they still behave in silly ways you still have to talk to them about their behaviors around the place because they forget to do stuff like they're not robots. They still have the same issues. They're still ringing with the same problems as anyone else would. Um, it just happens to be they're, they're half decent at football and they've got a chance to win an academy. Away from the 80s and 21s, if she's a 14-year-old boy, for instance, they'll wake up at half seven in the morning, they'll go to school, do a full day at school. They then come in for day release maybe at, at two o'clock. They do their day release programme at the club. They leave here at half nine. They travel an hour to get back at half 10. They then eat their dinner. They then have to do homework and they're going to bed at half 11 Crazy. and then they're back up at half seven in the morning to go to school. And do you know what? Because as an academy, they have high expectation of them. They have having to do that. But equally, you forget that schools have high expectations and schools don't really care whether you're an academy footballer or not. I've worked mm -hmm. in schools before and trying to explain to the head of English that, I don't know, Harry's a footballer and he's in an academy. She doesn't care. She wants him to be in school and in lessons and working hard and and... I've got, I'm fortunate I've seen both sides of that. Mm. That the schools don't particularly understand what goes on in academies and academies don't understand what the pressures are in schools. And for me, I always say that these boys are part of two high-performing, high-pressured environments that they have to, to step up to every day because if they don't perform in school, school getting in touch with the club and the club try and say, have to work with the school. If they don't perform in the football club, then the school will find out and <laughs> they're stuck in the middle. So... Anyone trying to get into academy football, be prepared for the for the dedication and the sacrifice you have to make. Mm. Okay, guys, I do hope you found that useful. I will be releasing the full interview very soon. So do subscribe, like, put your notifications on so you make sure you don't miss that. For those of you that want to play in academy football, haven't heard about the realities, Tebs will be talking about how you can get scouted, what kind of stuff you can do to be able to get noticed and get a chance. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I'll be back soon.